Uh, I'm going to talk about Font Squirrel today. I like Font Squirrel. Um, I like it better than Google Fonts because it's easier to search. And I like how uh, the files that you're working with uh, are on your server and not on Google server. Uh, feel like I can organize them more. And it doesn't clutter up my HTML. So here's my simple HTML h1 tag pointing to the CSS style and then if I go to uh, view it in the page it's uh, red because the CSS is red. So what I want to do is go to font squirrel um, but before I go there these this is the at font face uh, CSS property which gives us the power to add really cool fonts to our site but to do it you have to add a bunch of different types of fonts EOT, uh, WFF, uh, TTF so uh, it's kind of a pain but the cool thing about Font Squirrel is that it uh, makes this easier because it's actually really easy and uh, I like this one here so I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna scroll and that's a really cool font and what I want to do is font, at font face kit. So when I download this and I'm going to save it into uh, a folder here, you'll see I'm going to extract it, but it's got all of the fonts I need and it's got a demo page. So I'm going to extract and now it's there. So if I want to go into that folder and there is the fonts and they're kind of messy but there it is and it's working but we need to organize it so let's view the this the uh, HTML and CSS of the demo page okay I guess the the CSS is uh, using at font face and then it points to where all of these are and then in the demo page in order to use it, it's going to, in the styles, point to that family, Chuck5 regular, and then it's going to add other fonts in case the browser doesn't like that, and then you pick similar fonts so that it defaults to Arial or uh, a serif font or sans serif at the end. And so down here you've got the class using that, and I'm just going to use an H1 without a class, so it's going to be a slightly different. and um, so what I'm going to do is put this in my CSS and show you how that's done. Okay, so everything is on the same on this page, but then what I did is I went into my CSS page and I took out the at font face that was from the demo, and I didn't like all the fonts being squashed into my site. And I wanted to organize them, so I put them in a fonts folder inside my assets folder. So you have the dot dot forward slash, which means it's going out of the CSS, which is this file, and then fonts, and then it's going into each of the fonts. So that's how it finds them. And then I have my H1, which is going to say the color is red, just like it did before. And then I plug in the um, font property, which points to the new font that I'm using with that font face. And that's it. So then when I'm finished, I can just... Uh, check out my that's the demo and here is the new site and if I view the source here it's just the same thing as there it's pointing to my style sheet and that's it so at font face with font squirrel that's how easy it is and uh, I'm finished